Welcome to the FinGen Show. I'm your host, Ferris Alamy. And this episode is brought to you by International Strategic Management, an organization supporting entrepreneurship and small business development in the communities that you serve or you or you are, Speci especially in the underserved, underrepresented, or under-resourced communities. It's my honor to be here with you today. For the past six months since this year began, I've been asked many times, Ferris, how many pitches do you listen to on a yearly basis? This question has been asked of me many years in the past. And what I've learned is that most of the time, it doesn't really matter how many I've listened to. It just matters what I know and what I've learned throughout the years of what people wanting to hear or what they don't want to hear and what is important for the judges or for the entrepreneurs to focus on. In today's episode, I'm going to focus on Don't Pitch, Tell a Story, a perspective from your entrepreneurial journey of how to articulate your story when asking for money. My experience, and yes, I, my answer to that question on a yearly basis, I probably listen to somewhere between two to 500 presentations or pitches at a minimum, and probably up to a thousand of them every year. And I've been fortunate to have been doing this for the past 30 years or so, as well as in over 100 countries. I'm not saying that in a bragging matter, I'm saying that in a way that I'm hoping it'll help you understand what perspectives do I bring in to the table based on what I've heard or seen from these wonderful entrepreneurs and amazing judges as well. So why do I say don't pitch, tell a story? Many times we're taught through school and through others that you should tell exactly what you need, meaning, you run an ABC company and you are looking for $100,000, a million dollars, whatever the number is, and you're gonna, you need it to scale the operation to do whatever you wanna do. And what I've learned is when you are presenting your business, most of the time, especially the first time, no one's really interested in hearing all the details. What they are interested in hearing is the story that's behind the story. And if they're intrigued, they usually want to hear more about it. Occasionally, there are opportunities for you to say the numbers and just say what you're looking for without the story. And what I've seen, those who take the time to share a little bit of the story usually get better results in the funding space, whether it's yes or no. And of course, no one has time to listen to a story that is five hours long. I'm talking about a story of less than a minute or even 30 seconds that you can articulate it in a way that people could connect to, that understand your motive and understand what you're doing. Now, the reason I mentioned this, because I've only worked most of my career in the underserved, underrepresented, under-resourced communities. And unfortunately, there's an overburden that we have to overcome, which is, why are you doing what you're doing? The idea or the concept that you're doing it to make money is just not a concept that many of the communities that I serve in, you have yet been able to soak in. Some do, but most don't. Most of them are really starting these businesses to either serve a purpose in the community or fulfill a need, or they're trying to overcome an obstacle of their own journey, or they're trying to leverage knowledge that they have that they could potentially make some money on. Very rarely when I hear someone, the reason why they're starting a business is to make money. Although they might say it to pay their bills, but not to be rich or famous. Many do through the journey and many don't. So let's focus on this idea or the concept of telling a story, not pitching. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how do you tell a story? A story is really about thinking of it from the prospect or from the perspective that you are sharing the journey that you went on to get to where you are today. An example of that would be, I am an engineer and throughout my journey of being an engineer, I learned that there's ABC things missing or opportunity to improve. So I have you know, developed an XYZ solution to solve the problem. Initially, I launched it with a few people to pilot and then many started asking for it and this is how we started and this is where we are today. Or this is where I'd like to start and this is where I wanna to go today. Versus I'm an engineer 
and I want to, you know, do X, Y, Z thing to solve a problem for ABC. The few words that I use of throughout my journey, I've learned, I experienced, people have asked, people have shared. It does a couple of things when you're just doing it that way. One is makes it a story, which people are more interested in a story than just you articulating what the problem is and what the solution is for your business. Although people want to hear that, they like hearing the story. And second, it showcased that you are really engaging with their conversations and you're doing it for a purpose. Now, we can keep talking about this for hours and days. Let's take a break and continue this conversation for today about don't pitch, tell a story. We'll be right back after these short messages. Welcome back. And thank you so much for being with us today. This is the FinGen Show. I'm your host, Farah Salami, and we're talking today about Don't Pitch, Tell a Story, the art of presenting your business while talking to others, whether you're seeking funding or you're seeking business or you're seeking partnerships. And the things that we mentioned earlier was make sure that you loop in keywords such as I've learned, I've engaged, my customers, my potential customers, my partners have shared with me. I've learned from them. These keywords can help you make a story of your presentation. Another thing I've also noticed is those who share a story can also bring up a lot more, I'm gonna call it emotions to the table. And when emotions to the, comes to the table, that usually helps the individuals who are watching or listening to really understand the motive behind it. And a lot of times to showcase that you're willing to do what it takes. When I hear the people say that they're looking for passionate people, yes and no. I've seen people who are caring for their passion. I've seen others that don't. But what I've seen is that when you are excited, motivated about the idea and have some facts straight, people will get excited for you and want to support you. One of the things I mentioned about pitching and why I say don't pitch, tell a story, because people like to hear the story of where you've been and where you're going because they like to get on the bus or the train that is moving. Very rarely have I seen investors when they are wanting to get on the bus that is trying to start. It might look like that on the surface, but the reality is, is looking at the entrepreneur themselves and their journey and where they've been and where they're going. And they're deciding, did they move on that idea or have they been quiet about it? Are they waiting for something to happen or are they making things happen? These are the type of questions that many of the investors or judges of these presentations are asking themselves. And if they believe or think emotionally that you are really going after these ideas that you're going after, they most likely will support you. They most likely want to be on that bus. They most likely want to be on that train. So what can you do to get them excited about your idea or about your business, whatever stage you're in, whether you're starting up or you're growing up? The idea here is to share insights that maybe at points and sometimes makes you feel uncomfortable. I know I grew up in a place and a family that would not want you to say anything about your own or about your own journey. And the last thing you wanted to do is mention any success that you might have had because then it might come across as bragging, spoil, or anything else but a journey of success or a journey of life. Even sharing these insights with you today can potentially be a struggle for me because I might come across as someone that knows something. That's the last thing I want to do. My ideas here is really more about sharing and engaging in a conversation that hopefully allows you to feel free to share your thoughts and your ideas of what you like or dislike or anything else in between. So as I share this with you, I know that it's uncomfortable sometimes to share the journey that you've taken to get to where you are. Just remember that it helps people be engaged with you to get you where you want to go. So if you want to get to where you need to go, you got to share some of the things that may be uncomfortable for you. And also share some of the things that are comfortable for you, some of the success, some of the journey, and some of the accomplishments. So don't pitch, tell a story. Many blogs have done this on and you could find them on Medium or LinkedIn or any other platforms or our website, International Strategic Management site, and anything else in between. 
There are lots of these blogs that I've given up or written up on it and encourage you to engage this conversation and think about not pitching, but telling a story. Till next time, I'm your host, Fair Salami, and this is The Finn Gen Show. Thanks for being here.